Hey guys, good morning. Welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella, and today is Veda number 27. It's also mine and Devin's first wedding anniversary. We've been together for seven years, but we've only been married for one. So, woo <laughs> Kind of sucks that it's during quarantine, but you know, whatever. Can't help that. But I wanted to hop on for Veda and show you that I did finish my witch yesterday. She turned out a little weird, I think. She's cute, but I don't know. She seems proportionally weird. <laughs> but here she is. It's her hat. And I did the loose hair. She's super long-legged. <laughs> But, um, yeah, so she's actually done. I didn't, you know, I normally love Heidi Yates patterns, which is Snappy Tots. But this one was a little, um, the pattern was kind of, the pattern, the actual written part of the pattern was great. But the part where you assemble wasn't written that well. And, um, I don't know. I just had a hard time assembling her skirt to her body. I think it looks weird because, like, you know, divot in, divots in. <laughs> But I still think she's cute. And she's going to be really cute on my wreath when I get it done. Um, she's a lot bigger than I thought she was going to be. She turned out way bigger. But that's okay. I still like her a lot. I'm probably going to put something on her shirt. Because I feel like it's a lot of black right there. Um, so I might make some kind of little applique of like a a cat or a pumpkin or a bat or something Halloween-y. And put on there. And then she's going to be sitting on one side of the wreath. The wreath is going to have a crochet background. And then I'm going to put probably some bats or spiders on the wreath. And I thought about, you know, in the hole of the wreath, uh, putting like a spider hanging down. Um, and maybe a bow. Either crochet a bow or make a bow to put on the top. Yeah. That's my thoughts. So I did finish the witch. <laughs> this is a paid for pattern by Snappy Tots. I'll link the, the Ravelry page below. And you can check it out if you're interested. I got this for free, though. She recently, her birthday is in May, and she did a celebration all of April. And every week she gave away um, 10 patterns, I think. And um, this was one of them. So I got this during that giveaway. I think if you actually head over to her website, which I'll also link below, she's got some of those patterns still posted. The last 10, I think, are still posted. She might be in that last 10. I can't remember. <laughs> but I did start another new whip yesterday. I wanted to start a market bag, but I'm having a hard time finding one I want to start. I'm real picky sometimes about patterns. And at first, I pulled all my books out, my pattern books, to see if there was any in any of them, the magazines and stuff, and I couldn't find one. But in the process of looking for that, I found something else that I wanted to make. <laughs> And it is in this book that I picked up at the thrift store. It's called Crochet for Today. And it's a leisure arts publication. So it's a bunch of random leisure art patterns. But I found this cute... Um, I'm trying to, uh, trying to show it to you out on the pattern. Okay. It's a chicken sitting on a nest. <laughs> it's a container. Right here you can see where it's open and there's candy inside. I thought that was so cute. So I did start that yesterday. And I got the chicken body parts done that are white. I finished all the white parts yesterday. So that I can go ahead and put in my white ball. Dig them out of my bag. I think it's a little one. All right, so this is the chicken's body space. <laughs> I didn't make the beak or the the red thingies, whatever those are called. And let's see here, these are the wings for the chicken. And then this is the tail feather. This is going to be a little tricky to put together too because those two photos I showed you are the only two of that uh, pattern. And it says to use the photo for assembly, but it doesn't show the tail feathers. So I'm not sure how the tail feather is supposed to be sewn on there. So I'm going to have to uh, figure that out, just you know, mess with it and see which way it looks best. But yeah, so I did grab this at the thrift store. I have no idea if it's... It looks like it's from the 90s just because of this theme. I remember when these kind of photos were big. When I was a kid, all kinds of kids would get these blue jean and sunflower photos done. So I'm guessing it's from the 90s. 96. <laughs> it's copywritten 96. But it's in like perfect condition. Like I don't even think anyone's ever used it before I got it. Um, and I'm, I am a, uh, a book defiler. <laughs> I know a lot of people don't like when you fold down pages or write in books, but I do both of those. So... Uh, because I think books are meant to be used and not preserved. <laughs> um, anyways. Uh, yeah. There's a lot of cute patterns in this book. I'll probably make over time. And there's a lot of hard looking patterns in here. There's sweaters and stuff. But, I mean, it's a bunch of free patterns. And I got it for practically free. Because our thrift store, when we can go to it, the books are um, sold by pound. And they're 39 cents a pound. So this book is like maybe two pounds. <laughs> so this is under a dollar. And um, I'm imagining I bought more books that day. But there are 
tons of patterns in here. I don't even know. I'd have to go through and count. But there's cute. There's there's um, afghans. There's sweaters and uh, gloves and bull doilies and dishcloths and amigurumis and that chicken. There's a really cute little fat witch. She's so cute and fat. <laughs> and I think there's some Christmas ones in here. Yeah, Christmas ornaments and it's just a nice little book. And the, the back uh, part of it is tutorials on how to do stitches and stuff. It's just nice. I like having physical books. Um, I don't know. I just, I'm a book person when it comes to that. I'd rather have a physical book than like a digital copy on a tablet or phone. But that's just me. But yeah, so she's, that chicken is living in my <laughs> candy bag because I started it right after I finished the witch. So I just put the witch's leftover uh, scrap balls back in my scrap ball bucket and I just grabbed a bag and put the chicken in it. So the chicken is in the Halloween bag, but that's okay. So I'm hoping to get that done soon because it's a really fast pattern. Um, I would have probably finished it last night, but I just got tired of crocheting. I was sitting in the bedroom, Devin and Jesse were in the living room watching TV and playing video games. So I went in the bedroom and turned on my YouTube videos. I was watching them while crocheting. So I finished the witch and I, that's when I assembled her. All I had to do, I didn't crochet any of her. I was already done crocheting her. All I had to do was make her hair and separate the strands and then just sew her hat on, fix her hair on, sew her arms on, sew her body shut and stuff it so her skirt on, so her legs on, and her boots to her legs, and uh, got her all done. A lot of assembly, but it's alright. I would say that this probably isn't a beginner and Megumi friendly. Like, you don't have to be an expert, but definitely, I, I wouldn't su suggest this being your first one, just because the vagueness of how to assemble it, and um, yeah, it's just a little difficult if you're not used to um, reading how to assemble amigurumis without photos. Um, but you know, I figured it out and it's, it's fine. I just, if this is your first emigrumi, I would try something simple first and then, then try this one. And yeah, I'm happy with it though. I can't wait to see the wreath when it's finished. I might work on that, the form for the wreath, uh, later today or in the next few days. I don't know. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here for right now and I'll catch up with you guys later if I do any more crochet stuff. Hey guys, it's later in the day. It's actually pretty late in the evening. <laughs> Jesse's in his room watching TV. I wanted to um, pop on here and update. I'm taking glasses off. I'm sitting here watching YouTube videos. I uh, did my yoga earlier and then I walked uh, a mile and a half. <laughs> so now I'm chilling and I'm going to sit down and crochet a little bit more. But I did get some more of the chicken done. And I also worked on another project that I'll show you in just a second. Let me dump out my chicken bag. Okay, I already showed you all the white bits, and then I did finish the only orange and red bits, which the orange was the beak, and the start of the red was the things under the beak. I think they called them waddles. And then this is the thing that goes on top of his head. Uh, I don't know what that's called. But that thing. So the chicken is technically done. <laughs> it's just not put together. And I did start the nest which is loop stitch, which I got it halfway done, and then I felt like my loop stitches were super loose. Turns out I was doing them wrong, so I ripped it all out <laughs> and started over again, and now it's much tighter, and because uh, I'm doing the loop stitch the right way. So I gotta redo all that. I got to do 11 rows of loop stitch, which stinks because I do not like the loop stitch, but uh, I got one row done, so 10 more to go. <laughs> so uh, I'm working on my chicken. And then the other project that I was working on today is a hibernating whip that I've been, I've had for a while. I'm trying to get it without losing any stitches. Ta-da! My Christmas tree skirt. <laughs> um, I pulled it out of this, the stack of hibernating whips. I'm trying to find my stitch marker right there. Um, because it's kind of mindless and I was wanting to watch TV and crochet. So I pulled this out because it's just double crochets over and over and over again. But uh, right here where the stitch marker is, is where it was last time you guys seen it. <laughs> so I finished this white row, and then I've done two green rows. I've got to do one more green row before I start white again. And uh, yeah, I'm hoping to finish it. I like this much better. The old tree skirt I had were these two same colors, but the green was a dark green color. And I wanted it to be this light green, which is spring green. My favorite green color ever. But uh, this is more towards my personality <laughs> than the dark green was. So I gave that tree skirt to my sister. And I decided last year 
some point before Christmas, I was going to start my own, and then I never finished it. So, um, I whipped it back out, and I'm just, I'm using a K-hook, uh, on it, and I'm just, I'm doing three rows of green, two white, three red, two white, and repeat, repeat, until it gets big enough, and it's gonna have to be pretty big, because the base of our tree is huge, and, um, I want to be able to stick out a little bit from there. And I do want to get a new Christmas tree. I was going to get one this year. <laughs> but with everything that's going on, I don't know if I'm going to worry about that. I'm just going to keep the same tree. But um, I want to find a tree that has more space under it for gifts. Because the one we have is really low to the ground. And the way that it's made, I can't take the limbs off. It's not like the old trees where the limbs come off individually. Our tree is in three pieces. And it's uh, uh, pre-lit. So all the, the lights are attached to the tree limbs. So I can't take... The tree limbs off of the tree um or i would have already done that but yeah so i'm gonna try to find a tree eventually that has a a bigger space between the floor and the bottom of the tree so you can actually put gifts under it because our current tree you can't really put anything under but that's what i've been working on today crochet wise <laughs> and uh i'm just sitting here watching videos so i'm gonna go ahead and pop this off and try to edit it real fast and get it up because i want to just sit here and crochet the rest of the night and then go to bed. <laughs> so I will see you guys hopefully tomorrow. I'll try to remember to film tomorrow. I don't think I have to do anything tomorrow. I just gotta go to the post office. Tomorrow's Tuesday. I might have to go by the bank too. But I, I know I gotta go to the post office because I got an order I have to drop off. And I also have a package I gotta pick up. <laughs> but other than that, I'll be home. So, woo! I'll see you guys then, I guess. <laughs> Bye, guys.